I'm Allie Slagle and I'm going to be making my very cozy creamed leeks and eggs from my new book, I Dream of Dinner. The recipe starts with two leeks and leeks can be pretty sandy and gritty as you see right here. So usually the grit is in the first two layers. So I take them off and hope that there's no sand in the next layers. But if there are, you can just rinse it. So we're just gonna cut them into half inch pieces and then we'll wash them. It's easier to kind of get all the grit out once they're cut. Ooh. For this recipe, we're just using the light green and the white parts. This part is very edible. You can put it in stock or stew it. But for this recipe, I really just wanted like very soft textures and this will break down really nicely. Whereas this part will still have a little more bite than I kind of wanted here. This recipe has two elements. One is really tender leeks that are cooked really slowly in cream and then scrambled eggs. So to give the cream even a little more flavor beyond the leeks, I put just the peel of the lemon and it adds kind of like a really sweet um, floral flavor to the cream. If you have like a Y vegetable peeler is the best job for the tool. You really don't want the pith here just because it can be pretty bitter, but you can also do it with a knife. I didn't do a very good job on some of these. Like if there is a lot of white pith on the peel, you can just run back into a little pot, a whole lot of heavy cream, some water, a teaspoon or so of salt, and then all of our lemon and leeks. This is the recipe that you make when you're really tired, you don't really wanna chew even, you just want something that's super comforting, really soft. It's like a fancy scrambled egg that is great for dinner. I really like leeks here because they're kind of like a gentle onion, but you could use onions, white onions, you could use scallions. I think tomatoes would be kind of fun and surprising. Basically anything that you see in a gratin, even fennel would be really nice here. You're gonna bring the leeks and the cream to a very gentle simmer. You don't want this to be a hard simmer because the cream could misbehave. So the next thing we're gonna do is crack the eggs, but you kinda wanna stand by and watch the cream and make sure nothing wild happens. I like to crack the eggs right where I measured the heavy cream just because it's already dirty and the eggs will actually get a little bit more of this cream in a second, but it kind of just uses up all the cream that might still be in the measuring cup. I know this is like very minute, but I do really like um, whisking eggs in a liquid measuring cup or something that has a spout, just because when you pour from a bowl, it kind of makes a mess everywhere and the spout helps you along. There's a lot of opinions about when to salt your eggs for scrambled eggs, whether to do it right before, after. I recently learned that if you salt eggs up to 15 minutes before you scramble them, it makes them softer. I haven't put it to the test, but I, I'm gonna go with it. I also, before I started working on this book, I would always whisk my scrambled eggs with a fork. And then I was like, is a whisk really worth it? Like, is it better? So I did do a side-by-side -side test of a fork and a whisk. And a whisk does make much fluffier eggs. So I think it's worth cleaning a gunky whisk for better scrambled eggs. So our leeks are bubbling away and it smells so good. I really would suggest just standing over it and smelling it for a good long while. I feel like it like relaxes your shoulders a little bit. Um, we're also going to toast the bread. For this recipe and when I want like very soft bread that doesn't sog, I just toast one side of the bread. So basically when you put something wet on top, it doesn't like collapse the bread, like there's still some surface for it to sit on. But generally when you're eating it, it's still very soft and delicious. This is a very beautiful loaf that Anna, one of the food stylists here got at Otway in Brooklyn. And I'm very excited to try it. Bread going in. Thank you. 
So bread will go on your plate, twisted side up. And that's your landing pad for your cream leeks and your soon to be scrambled eggs. It's pretty common to put a little bit of cream in your eggs to make them creamier. Um, but we have this really delicious, sweet, slightly oniony leek and lemon cream. So just add a couple tablespoons to your whisked egg mixture. It shouldn't be enough that it'll like start scrambling your eggs, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Also pick a bigger bowl than I did. So there should be still just a little bit of butter in your skillet from your um, bread toasting. If you need more butter, of course, add more butter. But then the eggs just go right in. When I'm making eggs, the first thing I look for is around the perimeter of the egg. You wanna to start to see the egg cooking. And then when you see that, then you know it's time to start scraping. This recipe comes from the beet section of the egg chapter in my book, I Dream of Dinner. And it shows a lot of different ways where you can whisk eggs and make a meal. So when I thought about it, I thought a frittata is basically like a pie of beaten egg. An omelet is kind of like a pancake that you fold in half of beaten eggs. And you can stream eggs into a soup and just add protein and creaminess really quickly. So those are just a few of the ways in the beaten chapter to show scrambled eggs. In addition to like classic, more breakfast style scrambled eggs. So I'm just gonna pull the egg around and hope for nice big curds. In the book, there are kind of like all these little Easter eggs on the recipe pages. And the, the little treats on this page talk about adding dairy kind of in spoonfuls through your scrambled eggs so that you get kind of like these melty, gooey pockets. I think I mentioned maybe ricotta, creme fraiche, sour cream, but all of that would be really delicious. So you don't wanna eat the lemon peels, in case that wasn't clear. Kind of just fish around them. And then add some leeks and some cream to your toast. How much cream you put on is really a matter of um, what kind of day you had. And then our eggs go on top. You wanna stop cooking the eggs before they're like fully set just because they'll keep cooking from the heat of the pan. And then just a little more cream because because you have it. You could definitely stop here and it's really good just as it is. I do like a little bit of parm on top just for like salty surprises. And a little pepper. That's it, that's dinner. There's just like layers of Richness, the cream, the eggs, the Parmesan, the buttered toast. It's just so comforting. If you need a hug, find this recipe in my book, I Dream of Dinner, or on food52.com, where you'll also find more egg videos from my book.